Hey there. So today, I would like to talk to you about the Mario movie. If you haven't seen it, let me tell you, it's a wild ride. But even if you haven't seen it, it's probably a lot of weirdness in it that you didn't fully understand. So let's dive in and explore the movie together. We'll talk about the plot, the characters, and even touch on moral debate that's hidden in there somewhere. So let's buckle up and get ready for a strange journey into the Mushroom Kingdom. You know, the more I think about the Super Mario movie, the more I realize there's actually a pretty interesting moral debate going on in there. See, on one hand, you've got Mario and Luigi, who are just trying to save the princess and restore peace to the Mushroom Kingdom. They're the heroes, right? But then, you've got Bowser, who's just trying to, like, change the environment or something. I don't really understand this motivation. But here's the thing. Bowser's not really evil. He's just different, and I think the movie is trying to make a point about how we shouldn't judge people based on their appearances or their actions. I mean, think about it. Bowser's this giant turtle creature, and at first glance he seems like a villain. But then, you learn more about him, and you realize that he's just trying to do what he thinks is best for his people, and maybe he's not going about the right way. But that doesn't make him a bad guy. So, the question becomes, is it right for Mario and Luigi to try to defeat Bowser and undo everything he's done? Or should they try to understand him and work together to find a solution that benefits everyone? I do not know if there is a right answer here. On one hand, it's important to stand up for what you believe in and fight against injustice. But on the other hand, it's also important to listen to other people's perspectives and try to find common ground. In the end, oh, oh, I think the Super Mario movie is trying to teach us that there's always more than one side to a story, and that we should try to see things from other people's perspectives before we rush to judgment. And I think that's a pretty important lesson, no matter how weird or directionless the movie may seem on the surface. Hey, that's all for now. Shut up. Bye-bye, hey, <laughs> my little memer. Okay, that, that's my review. Goodbye.